questions and we can have a back and forth, a conversation. Uh, I guess I always like to start out with the most broad first question, and that is you've written 30 books. This is the first one called Morality. What took you so long? Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in some sense, morality is the subject of all your books, but but why, um, <clears throat> why this subject and this broad topic grab you right now? What happened, David, is that the first time I, for the first time, I became aware of the extent to which Western liberal democracies, Britain and America especially, had just lost the plot on morality. It seemed to me that the kind of free societies that were planned and conceived by John Milton and John Locke in the 17th century and by Washington and Jefferson and the people who wrote the Federalist Papers, above all, the, the wisest of them all, actually, uh, Alexis de Tocqueville, they understood that you could not have a free society that was not also a moral society, a society in which people accepted collective responsibility for the common good, in which they said, in effect, we're all in this together. So that was an absolute given. And as I started looking at the weird things that were happening in Britain and America, the loneliness, the isolation, the depression, the uh, unequal economics, the identity politics, the fake news and the post-truth and the cancel culture and the assault on freedom in universities and all the rest of it, really, really horrendous phenomena. I suddenly saw that these were not discrete phenomena. They were all symptoms of a single thing that's happened to us, what I call cultural climate change. Somehow or other, in the 60s, 80s, 90s, we decided to outsource morality to the market on the one hand, what shall I do? Well, what can I buy? What can I afford? And the consequences of my choices, I outsource those to the state. If I make bad choices, then the state will step in and cure me of my addiction or my obesity or whatever it is. So I don't need to worry about personal responsibility. I don't need to worry that there may be certain things that I can do that I should not do. That means we have a society built on two arenas of competition, the market and the state, the competition for wealth and competition for power. And we've lost the arena of cooperation that used to be the moral bond. I was never aware, I mean, always I grew up in a moral Britain in the 1960s, very moral Britain. And all of a sudden I just noticed it had gone. Now, I, I would say I teach college sometimes, and what I notice among my students 